threes and so on. I'll tell you the answer to the sign, Mr. Didot. It is that Jonah was entombed. It happened to be in a fish. And Jesus was entombed. It happened to be in the earth. The issue is not three. The issue is not dead or alive. The issue is entombment. I'm surprised to hear you admit, I think you admitted that Jesus was in the tomb alive for three days. That's not standard Muslim doctrine. Standard Muslim doctrine is that Jesus' similitude or image somehow was imparted to someone standing nearby and Jesus got away scot-free and someone else was on the cross. Well, that is a Muslim interpretation, is it not, my friend? If you would look among your scholars, if you would look at the range of opinions and interpretations in Islamic theology, this is at least one perspective. Now, what's not being said to many of you people tonight, you Americans, is this. That Islam has a great divergency of perspectives on a variety of issues. But you're not going to hear that tonight. You're not going to learn that. What is said to you tonight by one man is in effect reported as that which all Muslims believe about a certain thing. And we could pick a hundred subjects tonight and discover considerable diversity. Jesus was in the tomb three days alive. I'm astonished. What does three days equal, he asks. Well, I would suggest to you, what does five minutes equal? In Beirut, you'd better not take five minutes to mean five minutes on the clock, 60 seconds. Because it doesn't. Can you repair my shoes? Yes. When, they will, when will they be ready? Five minutes. It means a little while. It's very imprecise. You want to ask me, Dr. Douglas, how much time did you spend in Lawrence, Kansas? Two days. When did you arrive? Two o'clock Thursday. When did you leave? Nine o'clock Friday. That hardly sounds like 48 hours. But it is two days. For that is the way we use language and that is the way the writers of the New Testament use language. And so you see it's to trivialize the thing to come along and in effect begin to clip down days and ask what's really going on here. You have to respect the context, the, the setting, the way people in their own cultures deal with issues and subjects and so on and so forth. 